In a previous video, I showed how to take this Raspberry Pi and make it a thin client for virtual machines running inside Proxmox, and it works great. I get a display that resizes itself, I get a keyboard, and I get a mouse. But what I don't get is the ability to take a flash drive or another USB device, plug it into the Pi, and have it show up on the virtual machine, and that's what I'm going to explore today. So one of the keys to this is our Proxmox configuration, which has a USB device named USB0, which I created in the last video. Now this USB device is a port that shows up to the virtual machine as a USB host, and it allows you to plug in one USB device to it. So if we want to plug in more than one thing to our thin client, we have to make more than one of these USB devices. So I'm just going to go ahead and make, make four of them, all USB 2, because USB 2 is supposed to work better. So that way I can plug four different things into my thin client and pass them through there. So now I got a USB 0, 1, 2, 3, so that should work. Now we'll start that VM. So just for experimentation, I've logged into the Pi now over, S over SSH, and I'm going to change the config file to remove that kiosk option. So with the kiosk option, you can't configure anything in Remote Viewer, and I want to see what the configuration options I have in the GUI of Remote Viewer are. So I'm going to edit my thin client script. This is the script we wrote in the last video. And go down here, and so I have kiosk and kiosk quit, and instead of dash K and dash kiosk, I'm going to change it to dash F, which means full screen. So instead of opening in kiosk mode, where the user can't do anything to configure remote viewer, we're going to open in full screen mode, where the configuration is available to us, but we're still full screen. So we're going to stop that, and we could either reboot the Pi so it comes back up, or we could kill the X server and restart it. So coming back over here, we can restart the X server, and we should come up with the thin client in full screen mode, where we have the configuration options available. There we go, we sure do. And so now if we fly up here, we have the, here, we have uh, options. We can leave full screen, we can send a key combination, we have USB device selection, and we have disconnect. So if I click on USB device selection, I get this menu that pops up that says select USB devices to redirect, four free channels, because we created four devices. So we have Spice CD, USB device, and USB keyboard, and that's our, that's our keyboard. Um, so none of these are going to be terribly helpful to us because the keyboard is already being sent through Spice as a keyboard instead of as a USB device, and the CD is virtual. But now if I take my flash drive and I plug it in, I get a fourth option. And in this case it's blank for some reason, but I'm going to check it anyway. And then I'm going to close. And so now that I've selected that device, it shows up over here as a, as a drive in Ubuntu on my virtual machine. And if I open it, I can see that it doesn't have any files on it. So now that we know it functions in general, we want it to automatically pass through USB devices so we don't have to give the kiosk user the ability to check them. So if we go to the USB redirect page on the SPICE documentation, they have some examples here on how to configure it. And they have this filter for automatically passing through USB devices, and it's basically a string of five numbers. And the first one is the USB device class, the vendor, the product, the version, and then a 1 or a 0 that means allow or deny. So they give an example um, to deny any USB human interface device class and then allow anything else. So their example is OX03, comma, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, so any vendor, product, or version, and then a 0 for deny, and then a negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, so any class, any vendor, any product, any version, and then allow. And that basically says, because the rules are processed in order, if it's a class 3 device, which is human interface, then deny it. And then, continuing down the filter rule, if it's any device, allow it. And they then take that and they add it as a command line argument to remote viewer called Spice USB Reader Auto Redirect Filter, which automatically redirects USB devices to the guest. And the other one is Spice USB Reader On Connect. And that one tells it that when you connect initially, look for any devices that match the filter and pass them through. So we're going to try this, but instead of using OX3, we're going to use OX8, which means a USB mass storage device, and we're only going to allow, allow mass storage devices. So come back over to my script. We're going to start by setting the on connect and redirect filter just to allow mass storage devices, which are OX8. And so it's a kind of a long command, but I'm just going to type it out here, and we'll make the script pretty later. So 
So that says if it's an OX8 class and any vendor, any product, any version that allow it. And then we're going to also set that on connect. We'll save that. We'll restart. Come back over here, restart our X server, and see what happens. Here we go. So we've made the connection, but we still don't... Oh, there it goes. So it took it a second or two, but then our uh, USB flash drive showed up. So let's see what else we can get to redirect using redirect rules. So before we go passing through all of our USB devices without any concern, let's look and see what USB devices we actually have. Because it's possible we have some internal USB devices on the Raspberry Pi that we don't want to start sending through to our VM. Okay, so here we have one, two, three, four devices. So Linux Foundation Root Hub, Microchip Technology Hub, Fast Ethernet Adapter, and USB Keyboard. So USB Keyboard would be caught by the rule um, to block hid devices. That's the keyboard we're using for Spice. Uh, the hub should not be passed through, but the end device here, this Fast Ethernet Adapter, is going to get passed through if we if we let it. And that's a problem because that's what's connecting us to our Proxmox server. So if we suddenly try to pass through the Raspberry Pi's Ethernet adapter, then everything's going to lock up. So we need to figure out what the information for this is. This is bus 1, device 3, and that's the vendor information. So we need to not allow this specific device to get passed through. Otherwise, we'll lose our Ethernet adapter on our Pi, and that's not good. So let's edit our thin client again and start with our new rules. We're going to make a new variable for the USB redirection rules. And so the first rule we want is we don't want to allow hit devices. So OX3 0. So that means that any keyboards, mice, all of them will not get passed through to the Spice client. So we're saying any device class with a vendor of 0424 and <clears throat> a product of ECOO of any version, we're going to disallow. And then we're going to allow anything else. So that's our USB rule. So now we go down here to the redirect filter and put the USB rule in there instead. Let's try to run that now and see what we get. Okay, here we go. So we got the uh, we got Linux. Now if I plug this in, we don't have a rule anymore that specifies mass storage devices. Instead, we said all devices. So this should work. It might take a few seconds. Finds it and gives us the option to pass it through individually, but it didn't auto redirect it. So it shows up there. So now I wonder if I close the session and restart it, if it'll automatically pick it up this time now that it's plugged in. And it sure does. So it seems like the problem now is that it works when it's already connected when the session starts, but it's not working, it's not finding it automatically. Now that we got the flash drive working, what else can we try to redirect? Got a cheap USB Ethernet adapter. So if we go to the Ethernet settings in the virtual machine, you can see I have them wired. I got some IP addresses. So if I plug this in, see what shows up in the client shows up there. Let's redirect it. Yep, USB Ethernet. My old one was PCI Ethernet. Okay, can I enable it? Oh, it says cable unplugged. So I need to plug it in first. USB to serial adapter. Now if I plug this in, 
can go up here and select that I want to redirect it. Yep, it's an option. FTDI USB UART. Looks like I gained a TTY USB 0. That worked. This is a cheap USB boroscope camera that I use with 3D printers. Let's see if this works. It's going to be kind of a lot of bandwidth to send over my 100 megabit Ethernet and the Raspberry Pi. Yep, see we got generic USB 2.0 PC camera. Now we're going to run Cheese. And see what we get. trying it's trying so for completeness how does the flash drive work on windows so plug it in go up and choose to redirect it windows is being dumb there we go autoplay there's our flash drive working on windows so what do we learn? Well, USB redirection on connection seems to work well. Auto redirection when you're already connected doesn't necessarily work, but we can always use the USB device selection menu to choose some things. It seems like most devices are recognized and are passed through to the uh, virtual machine correctly, but stuff like cameras might be too bandwidth intensive to send over the 100 megabit network on our Pi. So thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please consider liking and subscribing so YouTube can recommend more from me in the future.